In this video, we'll see some arithmetic commands, which are generally addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, increment, decrement as well, which you have seen in the last video. So how we can use this arithmetic commands? Let's see an example. Now I'm taking a bit LDM0. This is a memory bit, okay, M0. Now with this bit, I want to add two data registers. Let's say, let's add D0 and D5. So I have to write add, add is instruction for addition. D0, D5. D0 is my first data register, you can write this is not case sensitive. You can write small in small letters as well. D0, D5, and let's store the value in D10. So this D0 and D5 is my first uh, data register which I want to add with D5. So these two data registers will, will be added and the result will be stored in D10. This is the result, destination. This is the source 1, source 2, and this is the destination. Click OK. So that's the instruction. So let's try that. I'll just end this instruction here. Okay, so I've already written, written the end. So these are the, this is the instruction. Let me download. Yes. Right. Now, initially D0 and D5 are 0. So let's change the value. So I'll right click, change present value. In D0, I will take K10. You have to write K. So this got 10. And D5, I will write K50. Oh, sorry, this is D0 and D5. I'll write okay, I'll take D K10 in D5. So I have 50 here and 10 in D5. So if I execute M0, it will add these two and store the result, store the result in D10 like that. So 50 plus 10 is 60, so you have 60 in D10. So now D0 and D5 could be your data register which is counting some boxes or some material, some object in the conveyor or it could be value getting, uh, it could be a feedback value from your drives. So it could be any value which you are using in your PLC application project. All right. So if you want to add those values to into some new data register, you have to use this addition command. All right. So parallelly, we can also use subtraction. So I can write in, in the pattern of the same zero. For subtraction, I will write SUB, now D0, D5, sorry, D5, and store the result in D20, okay? So it will subtract D0, subtract D5 from D0, so it's D0 minus D5, and result will be in D20. Parallelly, I can use, so for multiplication, I will write MUL, D0, D5, these two only, store into D30. I can write like that. Then for division, I can write, I can take a parallel, DIV. This is a short term for division, D0, D5, store in D40. Okay, now let's take an example. Let me download. Okay, so D0, D5 is 0 initially. I'll change the value. D0 I'm taking, let's take as 100. Sorry, I need to use K here. So this is 100. And in D5, let me take 10. So I know that 100 addition of 10 will be 110. 100 minus 10 will be 90. This will be 1000. And this will be 10. So this will be quickly executed as soon as I turn on M0. So this is 110, 90, 1010. So this is how you can use arithmetic commands in the PLC by using this syntax, add, subtraction, multiplication, division. And if your result is greater than 32 bit, I repeat again, if your result is greater than 16 bit, if it is in, ra if it is in range of 32 bit, then you have to use D before that. So in that case, your addition will be D add, subtraction will be D subtraction, this will be D multiplication, D division. This will give you result more than 16 bit. If you want to take an example, let's try that. I'll use this add example. And first, let's try that without double. So let's just add two values in the starter resistor and let's see the result. So this D0, I'll take K34,000. Now it says value exceeds the range, so I'll use 32 bit. So I have, you see this value is 34,000, but here I'm getting minus 31536 because I haven't used D here. So this gives me an error. So what I'm doing, what I'll do is, now I'll, I'll write D add. 
Now let's try. Now let's put the value again beyond 16 bit. So I'll write K34,000. So I have 34,000 here. In D5, I will write K even 340,000. That is here. So if I add this one, I'll get the exact value, which will not come if I don't use D. D is for double. So it will double the result. Not double the result, but it will double the capacity of your data registers. All right. So these, these were the various arithmetic commands. Let's see what we have in the next video. Thank you.